one one thing Linus and I have been talking about is sort of dividing up the current code for action selection to more cleanly distinguish between the general process of choosing actions based on goals and the more human specific cognitive model of, of choosing actions based based on goals. And what what Eddie based is gonna on emotional states. What Eddie's gonna talk about is more of the human like cognitive modeling. And I guess I'll very briefly outline the the, the general process of, of action selection. So based on having a bunch of implications in the atom space of the form context and procedure implies goal, which means if a certain context obtains at the moment and a certain procedure is executed, then a certain goal will be fulfilled to some degree. And that's probabilistic, probabilistic implication and then the, the, these, these things are all represented as, as, as nodes and links. So we can have an and link. Well, that's an implication link, actually. An implication link, you can have an and link there, which is between a node for the context. Can you give an example? Yep. So, an, ex an example would be a person is present and, and the person asks a question and the AI answers the question. Then that may achieve the goal of uh -huh. pleasing the person. Right? So right, it finishes the speech. Yeah, yeah. Question asked, question so, answered, done. Yeah, another example okay. would be uh, weird noise occurs over there, and the agent looks toward the weird noise, that could satisfy the goal of increasing knowledge or the goal of experiencing novelty because it looked at that weird noise, right? So, so, so it finds the source of the noise either way. It's right, like, yeah. well, it depends. And then there's the question, what, what are the goals, right? I mean, right, right now we have been working with the goal of what like, please the person you're talking to. We're just introducing the goals of experience novelty and gather information. Right. I mean, and... All of which are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is just the beginning of, of, of a goal system that you would want to have. Now, in some cases, these implications may be just coded by people and they're there in the atom space. In other cases, the implications could be synthesized on the fly by a learning algorithm or, or by, by PLN reasoning or, or, or whatever. So in, in general, the system has some goals and it wants to choose an action that will help it achieve its goals in the current context. In general, it could either look at such implications that exist already in its memory or it could try to use reasoning or learning to figure out a new implication that might help it achieve its, its goals. And then 
although we give it some goals initially, ultimately the system needs to learn sub-goals of its goals, then it may have implications pointing to sub-goals of, it, of its top-level goals rather than to the original top-level top goals that, 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 you, that you gave it. Now this process is pretty generic and doesn't specifically have to do with human emotions or human goals or human motivational system or anything like that. And as Linus was pointing out, you could use this sort of process like inside the PLN backward trainer or something. Like a, lo a logic engine has a goal it wants to achieve by doing inference. And then the logic engine inside its reasoning could, could break its high level goal in, into sub goals. So potentially this framework of evaluating context and choosing procedures to achieve goals could be used in a very nitty gritty way, just in, in, inside logical reasoning or reinforcement learning or something, as well as being used at, at the, high, the higher level for the system to choose its, its goals I have for detailed action. detailed somewhere, but I can't yeah. find them right now. Is there any explicit way that hierarchies of goals are represented? Like Implication links, that's all. I mean, if, 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 if you have a goal to entertain the Eddie, and then you learn that tickling Eddie entertains him, right? Then, then you might make a sub goal of tickle Eddie, and you'd have an implication that tickle Eddie implies entertain Eddie. So that, that those sub goal relations are just represented by implication. And right? you can have this higher implicate order at all times. Mm -hmm. like you're doing that because you want to be friends with Eddie. So yeah. you want to give Eddie pleasure because you want to be friends with him uh -huh. because Eddie can get you a good job. So for, it's for like, example, look, look, look. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 or just because you like to be nice to people as a top level goal. It depends on it your It depends system, on you right? and your yeah. view personally. Right, right. So another subtlety that we haven't dealt with yet is the role of time in the, in, the, in the goal system because, I mean, do, 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 you, do you want to make Eddie happy right now or do you want to make Eddie happy over the next year or six months, oh, right? Oh, so like, immediate like, gratification as opposed to long term. Right, right? so that, that in this, essentially each goal node has a certain time scale implicit in it. So yeah. like, please Eddie in the next minute will be one goal node please Eddie in the next year would be another and goal. And please so stay like, friends for life is right. another one. So yeah. like in, in injecting him with, with heroin might please him in the next minute. But it might, might really might, suck for him. Yeah, it might, it might piss him off right like here. an, an yeah. hour from now, right? So those, <laughs> so I, or, or not. Yeah, so right. Right now, right now it's very crude, and we just have basically one, one time scale there, so that the system isn't dealing with like deferred gratification or, or balancing goals on different time scales. But I mean, it it needs to, and it needs to for dialogue as well as for other applications. So I mean, it, if you if we want to do real dialogue management, where you have a even like fifteen minute conversation and you have some purpose in that conversation, then you, then you need to balance goals on different time scales. Because, I mean, if you have a goal of making someone understand something and a goal of pleasing them, I mean, you might need to annoy them a little bit because you're getting some information across them. And then once they get it, then they'll be happier and you made them understand it on a longer, longer time scale. So you, even in the context of simple conversations with a robot, there's maybe two time scales you want to think oh, about, yeah, or three. Yeah. So that's, we can represent all that in this framework, but we haven't dealt much with the balance of different time scales yet. We dealt with that more in much earlier OpenCog applications of making little agents run around in game worlds, because then, th 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 then it's more clear you're, you're, you're trying to plan mo moving up and down different staircases and mountains and, and, and so forth. So that's, that's the very general framework. And now, connected with that framework, there's a bunch of theory which is more tied to human emotions 
human motivations and, and so forth, which we have drawn from other cognitive scientist work. So a guy named Joshua Bach, who's been out here in Hong Kong a couple of times, and he, he's now at MIT and Harvard. He has a theory called the micro psi or psi model of human emotion and motivation. Then there's something called the component process model, which is a little more physiological in nature. And these tie in with this general framework. So one, one thing Linus has been looking at is on, on the code level, maybe separating out further this general framework from the specific hum, human-like model. So the action selector that works according to this methodology, a skeletal version of that was implemented by Amen and exists and we're using it now, but it's it's still miss, missing various things and so, so it still needs more work. So, so now I'll let Eddie explain the more human-like aspects of it.